Hi, welcome back to Dr. Kieran's Math Hacks. This week, we're going to cover something that really isn't a hack, but seems to be needed. I teach a remedial math class for the Army, and a good third of my students don't know how to do long division. I don't know whether they knew when they forgot, or whether they just were never taught. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, they've asked me to do a thing on long division, so here it is. All right, let's look at some long division. Let's divide 168 by 12. We write it this way. What we do is we look at this number and we see if it fits into each one of these. It doesn't fit into one, but it does fit into 16. It fits in once. So we put the one above the six because that's the last number that we're dealing with there. All right. We subtract off, we have 48. Now 12 goes into 48 four times. So we put it here, we multiply the four times the 12, and we subtract. Okay, so 168 divided by 12 is 14. Let's look at what happens if this wasn't a nice even number. What if this was a nine instead? All right, the 12 goes into the 16. We subtract that off, we get four, then the nine comes down. All right, we still get the four, 48, but we have one left over. What do we do with that? All right, that depends on whether you want your answer in fractions or decimals. Actually, having your answer in fractions is easier because all you do is co copy this one and put the 12 underneath because one twelfth is quite literally 1 divided by 12, and that's what we're doing here. That's what's left over. All right. If you want your answer in decimal form, you put the decimal in and you add zeros after the end. Okay, 12 doesn't go into 10. 12 does go into 100 eight times. Eight times two is 16. 96. We have 44 left over. All right. It does go into 40 three times. That's 36. We've got another four left over. Okay. So this is going to, this is going to repeat. So that's how we do it when we want a decimal answer. Let's look at another one. Twenty-eight seventy-five divided by five. All right, doesn't go into two, but it will go into twenty-eight five times. Five times five is twenty twenty-five. We have three left over, and down comes the seven. Five times seven. All right, notice the five is above the eight and seven is above the seven. Five times seven is thirty-five. We have two left over and the five comes down. And five times five is 25. All right. Let's do one more. All right, 4932 divided by 3. Okay, 4 divided by 3 is 1. We put the 1 over the 4 because that's where we're subtracting. The 9 comes down. 6 gives us 18. The 3 comes down. 4 gives us 12. The two comes down, and another four, 1644. Let's look at what we're doing when we do this. Okay, we have four, nine, three, two. When we're doing this one, that's actually a thousand. A thousand times three is three thousand. So we're subtracting off three thousand. 
and we get 1, 9, 3, 2. Then the 6 is 18, but it's actually 1,800 because it's actually 600 times 3. All right, so this gives us the 1, and this has given us the 6. Okay, now 4, but it's actually 40. 40 times 3 is 120. And our last 4. All right. So we're subtracting off as we figure out what the number in each position is. One of the questions is, how do you guess which number that is? If you have something ugly, like if you're dividing by 18 or something. All right. Let's divide 756 by 18. How do we know what to guess? All right. One of the things I like to do, if you can't see that it's 1, 2, or 3, which are fairly easy to see, if you can't see that, is to look at what 5 is. All right? 5 times 18. Okay, when we multiply, we cut it in half. That's 9 and add a 0. 90. So 5 times 18 is 90. So we want something less than 5. So let's try 4, because this isn't much less than that, right? So 4 times 8 is 32. 4, 5, 6, 7. 72. That gives us 36. Now 36 is 18 times 2. So look at the 5 and see whether you want to go up or down. Let's look at one more. Let's look at 1088 divided by 17. That looks pretty ugly. So let's start with looking at where our first number is. Okay, 17 doesn't go into 1, and it doesn't go into 10, but it does go into 108. So here's where our first number is going to go. Okay, how many times does 17 go into 108? I don't know. Let's look at 5. 5 is a nice, easy number to calculate because of that trick with 5s. And we can move up or down from there. Okay? 17 times 5 is 85. We're cutting the 17 in half and moving the decimal one place. Okay, 85 is too small, so we're going to add 1. That makes it 17 times 6. Okay, we're going to add a 17. 7 and 5 is 2, so we have 102. All right, so our 6 goes here. And we're going to subtract 102. We have 68 left over. Now, we know that 85 is too big in this case. So, 17 times 5 is 85. We're going to subtract 1 minus 17. So, that would make it 17 times 4. All right. There's our 68. So 17 goes into 1088 64 times. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing or hitting the like button. I'll be posting another math hack next week.